हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन द टॉपिक दैट आई एम टेकिंग टुडे इज डायबिटिक नेफ्रोपैथी एंड वी नो दैट देयर आर वेरियस सिस्टेमिक डिजीजेस व्हिच कैन कॉज द ग्लोमेरुलोपैथीज एंड द इंपॉर्टेंट वंस आर सिस्टेमिक ल्यूपस एरिथमेटोसिस देन डायबिटिक नेफ्रोपैथी देन माइलोमा किडनी हिनॉक शॉनलिन परपुरा एंड गुड पास्चर सिंड्रोम आई विल बी टेकिंग डायबिटिक नेफ्रोपैथी सो वी नो दैट डायबिटीज इज अ एंडोक्राइन मेटाबॉलिक डिसऑर्डर and there are many important uh, chronic complication of disease which result due to persistent hyperglycemia and diabetic nephropathy is one of them it it is seen in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes and it can lead to end stage uh, renal disease in about 40% of both type 1 and type, type 2 diabetics diabetic nephropathy uh, can very often lead to renal failure and it is the most uh, second most common cause of death in diabetics the first most common cause being the myocardial infarction so when we talk about the chronic complication of diabetes and the complication which are uh, occurring because of persistent and prolonged uh, period of hyperglycemia these are divided into two types one is the macrovascular complications the macrovascular complications are seen in the uh, large and medium sized artery uh, including the aorta and there is accelerated atherosclerosis in these complications and the examples of the macrovascular complications are most importantly uh, myocardial infarction which is the most common cause of death in diabetics then second is the stroke and lastly uh, lower limb ischemia which will <coughs> manifest clinically as gangrene the next category is that of the microvascular complication and in the microvascular combination these they affect the small sized arterioles and the diseases which are associated are like diabetic retinopathy in which the vessels of the retina they are affected and next is diabetic nephropathy the topic for today and lastly the diabetic neuropathy uh, so uh, whenever there is microvascular complication then we use the term diabetic microangiopathy and the common uh, manifestation in microangiopathy is the diffuse basement membrane thickening i will tell you why later and when the nephrodes there is a diffuse diffuse basement membrane thickening <coughs> it can affect the capillaries of the retina then glomeruli then the renal tubules and peripheral nerves so all these uh, structures they get affected in the diabetic microangiopathy and that that will cause the different pathogenesis in uh, diabetic nephropathy so now we come to the pathogenesis of diabetic nephropathy <coughs> so uh, in diabetes which is a metabolic disorder the most important and uh, implicated factor in causing the complication is uh, persistent hyperglycemia also known as glucotoxicity and it will cause the all these long term complication so in the pathogenesis of the chronic complication of diabetes what plays an important role is the formation of advanced glycation and products and um, we, uh, we should know that glycation is the non enzymatic binding between glucose and the uh, amino acid groups on the proteins when there is the enzymatic binding then it is known as glycosylation while when there is non enzymatic binding binding it is known as glycation so there is glycation occurring in the long term diabetes and that is leading to the formation of these glycated end products and uh, the glycated end products they have got their receptors on the cells of various tissues so this each they bind with the receptors which are called rage and uh, then these receptor and ligand binding occurs then it leads, leads to various downstream effects so what are those effects first of all most important is there is release of cytokines and growth factors like the transforming growth factor and it it causes the deposit of the basement membrane material which plays a very important role in the pathogenesis of the complications then second is the formation of vascular endothelial growth factor again this is very important in the pathogenesis of diabetic retinopathy next is the 
production of increased reactive oxygen species uh, this occurs in the endothelial cells and it will cause the uh, damage there then there is increased procoagulant activity in the uh, both endothelial cells and also on the macrophages then lastly this age rich binding will cause the increased smooth muscle uh, uh, cell proliferation and importantly the increased extracellular matrix synthesis like in the glomerular mesangial matrix uh, besides uh, these receptor mediated effects there are also some non receptor mediated effects of the advanced glycation end products so what they cause they cause the cross linking uh, between the molecules of the type 1 collagen and what is the problem with this cross linking it is that this collagen now becomes resistant <coughs> to the proteolysis so it is not able to break and that causes the accumulation of various proteins so these are the receptor and non receptor mediated effects of the advanced glycation end products uh, next other effects uh, of the persistent hyperglycemia are uh, one is the activation of protein kinase c and uh, that uh, in turn causes the uh, increased stimulation of diacylglycerol and this is a uh, important uh, in the signal transduction pathways that will cause the downstream effects like increased vascular endothelial growth factor then tgf beta will increase that will cause increased procoagulant activity by uh, uh, through the plasminogen activator inhibitor we note here that uh, the the effect of uh, activation protein kinase c they are also similar to the effects uh, caused by the advanced glycation and products next effect of the hyperglycemia is oxidative stress so in the tissues like uh, kidneys blood vessels and nerves what happens the glucose uh, gets the excess glucose it uh, gets converted to uh, fructose 6 phosphate in a reaction that uses nadph and we know that nadph is used to convert the glutathione into the uh, its reduced form and which is a important antioxidant me mechanism so there is a decrease in the uh, gsh so that will cause the increased uh, formation of reactive oxygen species and will cause the oxidative stress next uh, last is the generation of uh, fructose 6 phosphate in the hexosamine pathways and this is also again because of the hyperglycemia and it can also result in oxidative stress and the cell damage so this was all about the pathogenesis of the chronic complications of uh, diabetes mellitus and the morphology i will cover in the next lecture thank you very much